Hello, I'm Henry R. Mockingbird, your host with the mustache. In 2021, something big happened. The W.C. Fields documentary in 2021 became my most viewed video on my channel. And by the time I'm recording this, it has almost 600,000 views. And in order to celebrate, I'm going to review what is considered his best movie. When a bank gets robbed, Robert Suze accidentally catches them and gets a job as a bank guard. He also gets his future son-in-law to invest in a beefsteak mine. So what do I think? Well, I'll tell you. I think it's his best film next to It's a Gift. There's a scene in where Edward Suze gets taken hostage by one of the robbers, leading to one of the craziest car chases ever caught on film. Hell, I dare say that this car chase scene is crazy, if not even crazier than the car chase scene in Alibi Ike. And that movie had Jolie Brown driving an ambulance in his pajamas. He steps on the brake and breaks it through the floor. He takes out the emergency brake and gives it to the robber. The robber asks for the wheel only to actually give him the wheel. Classic. Edward Suze is played by W.C. Fields. And this movie does spotlight one side of his career, the troubled family man. And a man who doesn't like children, as he's seen stealing a comic from a little girl. And the little girl kicks him and throws a bottle at him. And he retaliates by trying to throw a plant back at her. And then we have this gem. Is that gun loaded? Certainly not, but I think you are. We also get a very displeased mother-in-law who's always going on and on, played by Jesse Ralph, who was also in After the Thin Man and David Copperfield. And then there's Myrtle, who's ashamed of her father, and she's played by Ernel Merkel, who you might remember from my 42nd Street review. You also get Shemp Howard playing a bartender. You might recognize him as one of the Three Stooges. <laughs> Yeah, Shep Howard actually had a career before he became a stooge. Who would have thought of it? After the success of You Can't Cheat an Honest Man and My Little Chickadee, W.C. Fields was given creative control and wrote a script under the pseudonym Nahatna Cave Jeeves. Two working titles were The Bank 
Detective, and The Great Man. The film was directed by Edward Klein, who also directed Haunted House, starring Buster Keaton in Three Ages, starring Buster Keaton, Wheeler and Woolsey's Hook, Line and a Sinker, Million Dollar Legs, Olsen and Johnson's Ghost Catchers, and Crazy House, as well as You Can't Cheat an Honest Man, My Little Chickadee, and Never Give a Sucker an Even Break. That's pretty much all I have to say about the bank dick. Well, until the next review, I'm Henry R. Mockingbird, your host with the mustache, signing off. And tune in for my next Modern Classics episode as I take a look at the infamous ripoff Titanic The Legend Goes On. I give this film five stars. Write, like, and subscribe to the channel and ring bell for future uploads. If you like to make a movie request on this channel, do so in the comment section below. And feel free to check out my other shows, Modern Classics, TV Treasures, and Geek Reviews. And check out my editorials.